Welcome back to Vlogtober, friends. Uh... So I posted a little room tour the other day and I showed you a little bit of my planner organization that I'm using right now because I have recently been gifted a new planner, so I'm testing out like a physical planner. But for a very long time, I kept everything online digitally, which I still do for all of my other organizational and planning and all that. And a few of you guys have asked how I use all the different platforms. Using spreadsheets has changed my life, let me first and foremost say that, but I thought I would share with you guys all the different tools that I use to keep all of my notes digital, which means they're portable and they're also completely zero waste and environmentally friendly, of course, assuming that you have a laptop and a phone. If you don't, then it probably is better for you to just use regular old paper. But if you do happen to have a laptop and phone already, then I would love to share how you can utilize them a little bit better to save some paper and other resources. So first and foremost, I use Google Sheets. Like I just mentioned, I use spreadsheets for everything and using spreadsheets has saved my life because you can put pretty much anything you want in a spreadsheet, but mostly I use them for different things that require making a list. So my planner goes in there, grocery lists, any other sort of list that I'm making just to like get my thoughts out about things or my manifestations, anything that I need to make a list for, and I tend to make a lot of them. I'm going to show you guys a few of the different templates that I use, and they're all going to be linked on my blog, which is going to be in the description box below, where you can go in and I made a spreadsheet that you guys can view, so you can just copy and paste each page that you want to use into your own spreadsheet and do with it what you would like. So let me show you guys how I use it. So this is the spreadsheet that I use as a sort of planner. It's set for October right now of 2017, but you can go in and just change the month number here and it'll change the date there for whichever month that you want. Right now it's October, so I'm gonna leave it as October. So yeah, each date day is written basically up here and then I have a section down here where you write in all of your to-dos. The great thing about spreadsheets is that you can make the column as big as you want and you can add on as much as you want you can move tasks up and down the list as much as you want which is really great so for each month basically I have the same document set up and then because the days of the week are different you just sort of have to shuffle them down and then fill in whatever at the end of the month depending on what day of the week the first would fall on you kind of go accordingly so yeah each day I have a section for a different to-do list and again you can make it as big as you want and then I like to kind of all come down and just write out all of my to do so maybe I have to do groceries just an example maybe I have to do laundry paint my nails because that's something I really have to do right now so I'll go down and I'll make a list of all of them that I have and then I kind of will just shuffle them up into the column in the order that I'm gonna do them in and I tend to like to write the time next to it but if you don't want to have this column you can just go ahead and delete the column if you want I have a projections section on the side as well because at the beginning of each month I like to kind of set out five different things that I want to accomplish that month and then I have another section here for on the docket which is just a running to-do list of basically things that I know I'm not gonna have to do today but I might have to do them a different day so say this is the order of things that I want to do today when each one is done I just go and cross it off at the end of the day, I like to just change the font color to basically nothing, swoop it down to a very small width, and then I drag it over here. And all of the expired days end up piling up over here, and then my current day will always be at the very beginning of my list. So that's basically the template that I use for every month, and you can just switch it up and switch in whichever month you want. Then I also have three different versions of notes that I have, and again, like, Excel is very customizable, so you can just take all of this stuff as examples if you want to use it. You can go in and play with each of these, but I have different kind of styles of lists that I would make. This one, for example, is an example of what I would do when I'm listing books and authors and things like that. This would be a kind of style of, you know, a typical one, two, three, four, five list. And then this is just for random lists of things. Maybe I'm working on a different project and I have to list out a bunch of different categories of things. So you can go in and play with that and you can obviously change the fonts of all of this stuff so maybe you don't want to use the font this font on the planner and you want to use a different one on your to-dos like go for it you can play with it you can make these sections like hot pink or hot red if you want. <laughs> And that's pretty much it for Excel. The columns that kind of spread out to things, you can just add a bunch of spaces and then things stay pretty neat and organized. Oh, there's also this little bit that I've left as a future note column. So maybe I know that next Saturday I have a dentist appointment so I can put that in there just so that I remember. And then for everything that doesn't require a list, I've been loving Bear. So Bear is an app that I found, this is obviously is not sponsored or anything. Bear is an app that I found in the Apple App Store and I use it on my Mac computer. If you 
don't have a Mac though, I'm sure you can find it in the PC app store. I just love the way that the app looks personally. This is what Bear looks like when you don't have any notes in it. I'll just show you for a general idea. Every time that you create one, you can put your title in here. Let's just... I only have one hand to type with right now. Work with me, guys. And you can have all of your content, whatever you want to write. The way that they organize it instead of notebooks, so I like to have a different notebook for every project that I'm working on, so maybe one of them is my podcast. So I can do a hashtag of whatever that notebook belongs to and they pop up over here. So again, I could create a different note and I could call it this. And maybe I'm making a note for my clothing company. I could just write in barefoot babes and then this becomes a new hashtag and I can click here and see all of my notes that have to do with barefoot babes. I cleared it out just for the purpose of this video, but I have quite a few notes in here so far and I absolutely love it as compared to the one that I was using before, which was Evernote. I used to use a different platform called Evernote, which you can still totally use and is also free. I just didn't like the way it looked and I find that bear looks I don't know there's just something like OCD about the way my notes appear and I just didn't like the layout and the feel that I got from Evernote so I switched over to Bear. Of course there's other apps that you can use as well. There's Pages which you can use via iCloud on your computer and there's also Google Docs. Those are the ones that I know of. If you have any other ones feel free to leave them below but so far from what I've tried Bear is my absolute favorite. And then any sort of on the go notes when I think of something when I'm out I just tend to use my handy dandy phone and I use the notes app and I try to my best to transfer them over either to their proper sheet or their proper notebook on bear. And thirdly, I mentioned this in my other video, but I like to just have some sort of paper alongside with me or a dry erase board is another great alternative if you don't want to waste paper. I like to just have a notepad or somewhere that I can physically write things and scribble things because I just find that sometimes my thoughts aren't complete until I write them down. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I do all of my notes and everything online. Let me know if this was helpful for you. Again, don't forget that the blog post that I have set up a Google Sheet that you can go in and just copy and paste everything is on my blog, which is linked in the description box below. And I would love to hear if you guys have started to use it and incorporate it in your life. So let me know. That's pretty much all I have to say. If you have any suggestions for future zero waste videos, let me know and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Also, don't forget all my social media is in the description box below so you can follow me, creep me, do whatever you want with it. That just got really weird. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow because it's Vlogtober. Remember to stay happy, humble, and forever compassionate. I love you guys so much. Bye!